hope and caution in the search for the missing passenger jet, Flight 370. Have the black boxes finally sent a message through the water to all those people searching? Tonight, investigators are trying to zero in on the truth about the pinging sounds they've heard, pushing even harder to find the boxes before they go silent. ABC's David Curley now has the very latest on what they're hearing tonight. This U.S. Navy listening device towed thousands of feet below the surface heard something like this. Today, the man leading the search said he believes that is the distinctive sound of a black box pinger. They heard it twice. Clearly, this is a most promising lead. And uh, probably in the search so far, it's probably the best information that we have had. The towed pinger locator heard the signal for more than two hours. The ship, the Ocean Shield, then turned around and heard it again for another 13 minutes. Two distinct pinger returns were audible. Significantly, this would be consistent with transmissions from both the flight data recorder and the cockpit voice recorder. The ship is now crisscrossing a nine square mile section of the South Indian Ocean, listening again. Searchers hope for a third hit and will then send this robot down to the bottom. Using sonar, it will map the ocean floor, looking for wreckage. But the depths in this area are nearly 15,000 feet, right at the limit of the robot's capabilities. So if you're picking up not only one but two sources, then we've more than likely found them. Those black boxes will tell us so much. Was the voice of one of the pilots or someone else a hijacker caught on the recorder? Were all those course changes on purpose? Did the cabin depressurize by accident or on purpose, killing the passengers? And when were those critical communication systems intentionally shut down? As we've learned at the NTSB lab, even from 15,000 feet underwater, these boxes survive. Have you ever not gotten data in a water recovery? I can't think of one offhand where we haven't been able to get data off of it. But they've got to get the boxes first, and we are on borrowed time tonight, Diane. This battery in this pinger mm -hmm. ran out for its guaranteed 30 days yesterday. Make it another three or four days. They haven't heard it in a day and a half. Even if they do find this, they got to get it up. It's going to take a while. And inside here is an indestructible container that holds that board with all those memory chips that will tell us exactly what this plane was doing for those eight and a half hours. So flight. if it's intact, if they find it, it's in there it's, somewhere. It, it's in there and it's it's almost indestructible. And as you heard, they, they can handle the water. All right. Thank you, David Curley, monitoring at every moment. Thank you.